In today's video, we're going to talk about unemployment rate breakdown, and we're going to start off with uh, our unemployment rate that appeared in one of our past videos. Now, we know that if we time something by this uh, unemployment rate formula, like n over n, and ap over ap, this unemployment rate doesn't change because n over n and ap over ap is basically one because they're the same and they're over each other so they're basically one now n represents the people not working so all the people that are not working is represented by n people not working so that is equal to uh, un the unemployed plus uh, the NLF the people that are not looking for work now we can manipulate this uh, formula to make it so that we have un over n and n over AP and AP over LF and I believe I did something with you guys uh, like this in one of my past videos and I'm sure of it now now you know that as long as the bottom doesn't change then our whole formula is legal and uh, and we'll get the same number no matter what and I'm gonna explain these uh, terms one by one this is pretty much uh, unemployed and I know you know this unemployed over uh, what n stands for the people not working so over n the people not working and this is uh, the people not working n over uh, everybody that is able to work so able to work remember that AP is the able population and that is uh, everybody that is able to work and this ratio is a better measure is a good measure because uh, it counts all the economy not just the labor force it counts all economy not just labor force so everybody is included in this ratio and this last this last uh, ratio is what we call the inverse participation rate inverse participation rate so if we go back up to our one of our videos where we did participation rate it is lf over ap this is ap over lf though so it's the inverse now there's something that you must know about this if pr equals to lf over ap which is the participation rate if it rises then our inverse participation rate inverse participation rate ap over lf uh, falls and this makes sense or else it wouldn't be called an inverse and if the other two uh, if the other two factors that is uh, this and that if these two stay the same then our unemployment rate falls and the opposite happens if uh, if PR falls and the inverse rises and these two factors stay the same then unemployment rate would rise and this is all you need to know for the unemployment rate breakdown please rate comment and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you guys again